Hey everybody, it's Carter from Wheel of Fire Alarms here, and today we have another system test. Let's get started. So there's been some huge changes with this panel. I completely redid it because there's a lot of things wrong with it. And I made it a lot better and it has a lot more interesting things. So let's take a look. So you'll notice that that big cover thing is gone and I have everything in this little light, light switch box thing. So uh, same buttons, this acknowledges the panel, turns off the sounder in there. Uh, this runs a fire drill, and then this silences the system. Um, same lights, uh, power, alarm, and silence. Um, I put everything on a breadboard. There's a breadboard in there. I don't know if you can see it in there. but um, And then there's terminals going to different um, portions of the system. So it's a lot smaller now, which is, which is really nice. And then what this thing is, this controls a whole other setup that I built in. Um, this is a sound module that I have loaded some fire alarm tones in, and you'll notice there's this USB USB thing sticking out, and that's so I can program the sounds into the panel. Um, so I'll click this button and it'll broadcast the sound through the speaker strobes, which are right over here. I have my four Wheelocky 70 speaker strobes hooked up now, and um, they can be tied into the system if I like. Now let's go over to the system um, that we're going to be working with today. We're not going to be doing the speaker strobes. That's going to be in a different video. We're going to be working with this system that you guys know. So right here we have um, a Firelight BG-12. Decided to swap that out. So here it is. It's one of my uh, Hexloft ones. Over here we have a key switch, although this does not activate uh, the system anymore. What this does is this turns on and off the um, speaker strobe. Um, the, the strobe portion of the speaker strobes, it will activate the Wheelock Sync module if I want. Up here we have the Simplex uh, 29019833 on the 2903 light strobe plate. I think I got the model number right. Um, then over here we have the Wheelock ZRS. And then this key switch is also for this. I'll get to that in a later video. So there we go. Those are the devices today. And then going up Onto the wall, we have the Simplex T-Bar still. Haven't swapped that out. I don't know if I will. And up here we have the EST Integrity. I know I've done a test with this um, Simplex horn and the Integrity before, but too bad I wanted to do it again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start. How about we start with the Simplex T-Bar today? Here we go. Alright, so we're going to now grab our keys. We need a simple B key to reset this whole station. So go in here. Here. Again, I don't know if you guys remember this, but uh, one of the hinges is broken. Both the hinges are broken on this, so sometimes it pops out of place. Here we are. And we're going to go ahead and reset. We reset it just like the last one. Like that. And we're going to go ahead and um, pull the BG-12. and we're going to go ahead and reset and then we can go ahead and do a system reset I don't have anything wired for audio will silence nor will I probably ever we can go ahead and have to reset that one first there we go and last but most certainly not least let's go ahead and run a fire drill here we go
Well, I think uh, that will do it for this system test. There's definitely more to come, uh, especially with the speaker strobe stuff. I look forward to showing you guys that in another video. And with that being said, like the video, leave comments, and of course, subscribe to the channel.